Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with a Call of Duty Black Ops live commentary for you guys. And today I'm going to be going through my classes. I've reached level 48, which is almost max level. And I thought I would uh, kind of talk about the weapons that I've been using and the classes that I've kind of settled upon. So I'm going to go through each class, tell you what I've got, tell you why I've got it, and tell you the sort of gameplay style that I'm trying to go for with each class. So first up we have my Rush class. I'm using the AK-74U with a grip and steady aim pro. That makes for... Very good hip firing, um, Python with speed reloader, uh, Semtex concussion and C4, lightweight and marathon as well in my perk slots. So this is when I want to get behind enemy lines and just wreak havoc with hip firing. So that's kind of what everything's going for. Concussion is able to be thrown faster than flash uh, flashbangs, and then we have Semtex which detonates a little bit faster than frag grenades. Next up we have Assault. This is for more long range combat got the commando with a red dot sight. It seems like the red dot sight decreases recoil. I don't know if that's just a trick of the eye or something, but that's what I've noticed. I seem to do better with a red dot sight than without. And the commando is a very, very good gun. Definitely recommend it. The crossbow is actually pretty useful when dealing with campers, because if they're posted up on the second story of a building, uh, you can shoot the crossbow bolt into the window and uh, the splash damage will do your work for you. And then we have the motion sensor if you want to post up in a defensive position and prevent anyone from sneaking up on you. And then finally, Hardline Pro, Hardened Pro, and Hacker. I like Hardline Pro just because you get your kill streaks one kill faster and you can reprogram care packages. So if you run the SAM turret um, care package and then sentry gun kill streak loadout, you can reprogram every single one and get some pretty crazy kill streak rewards as a result. And then we have Harden Pro, which makes it so you don't flinch as much. So uh, that kind of allows you to keep your aim on point a little bit better. And then Hacker, if you want to deal with claymores or turrets or sentry guns or anything like that. Next up is the Heavy class with the Stoner 63, which is probably the best light machine gun. It has very predictable recoil. It's a very nice gun. And then we have the Strela 3, Semtex, Concussion C4, Flak Jacket, Harden Pro, and Tactical Mask. This is when you want to deal with people who are throwing down grenades, um, shooting noob tubes, shooting rockets, you know, explosives, and then air support as well. That's why you have the Strela 3. And then we have the Shoddy class with the Spaz 12, Crossbow, Semtex, Novagas, Jammer, Scavenger, Steady Aim Pro, Tactical Mask. And basically what I use this class for is I throw down the gas and I have the tactical mask to, so that the gas doesn't affect me. And then I run in with my Spaz 12 and you know I just blow them to pieces while they're disoriented by the gas. And then the jammer is very useful just because um, if you're getting, getting into a lot of close quarters combat in a certain area you can block out all their, uh, all their radar and all that stuff with the jammer and that's useful. Next up is my Ghost class. This is just my Stealth class with the M16 with a Silencer. Uh, it's, I believe the Silencer reduces recoil. That's what I've heard. So uh, the M16 becomes even more accurate, which is nice. Then we have the Strela 3 for dealing with air support. Semtex Decoy Grenade. This thing is very useful, especially if you're running with a Ghost and a Silencer because you're not making any noise. You're not showing up on the radar at all, but your decoy is. So... You can definitely do a lot of damage with that thing. And then we have the Jammer again for blocking out radar. And uh, finally, Harden Pro and Hacker. Um, Harden Pro, yet again, is just so I don't flinch as much if I'm being shot upon. And then Hacker for dealing with equipment and uh, turrets and sentries. So that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful, helpful or informative in some way. If it was, please leave a thumbs up. And otherwise, I will see you guys later. Bye.